The New Zealand cabinet manual evolved actually over a period of time, which I think is probably the difference in, to some extent from the UK experience. And it was a collection, if you like, of officials and executive members' best practice, as I said. But when the people in New Zealand voted for a mixed member proportional system in 93, then that occasioned a rewriting of all the rules, if you like, relating to Parliament and the executive standing orders were rewritten and the Cabinet manual had to be rewritten in a way to incorporate the new experience of multi-party government. So at that point it became not so much more formalised but it was on the website but it was, you could also buy a copy of it so it became the manual you could actually touch. Mm.